Hello everyone, I'm back and I'm here to talk to you about another serious topic. No, it's not really that serious. It's about artificial intelligence or AI as people like to call it. I need to drink more water, I'm not drinking enough water these days. Anyway, what do you think about AI and when people say that computers are going to take away our jobs and all that stuff? Like, if you think about it, think about a hundred years ago when there were no computers. I don't know if there were any computers to be honest, maybe there were, but there weren't like in the everyday job. There weren't any computers in jobs, basically. I don't think there were computers. Were there computers? I don't even know. I should have probably checked before making the video, right? Anyway, imagine like a hundred years ago, everyone was working, right? Generally. People who could work had to work. The same like now, you worked whether it would be on your family's farm or in an office. They wouldn't have, would they have had offices without computers. Anyway, whatever. Um, you, you worked, people worked. And let's go back even 50 years when there were computers, but not very good ones. Like they couldn't do the jobs like they could do now. People still worked. And let's come to now where computers can do all kinds of crazy stuff and people are still working. So a hundred years ago people told you that there would be a computer that can like print all these newspapers without needing a printing press being operated by two people or, or more people, I don't even know. Um, people would be like, oh my god, the, the computer is going to take our jobs, the printer is going to take our jobs and they'd be worried about it. But then those people are employed doing something else now, right? You never hear someone say, oh, you see, my kids, they don't have a chance to get a job now because, you see, the printing press, that's done by computers and machines and cars. Like, the cars have been made by machines, so they don't need people, so my, I can't get a job. You don't hear that argument, really, do you? What happens is, the different industries that get affected by computers, automation, AI, and stuff like that, certain jobs will change, so it will affect certain people at a certain time. But there's always a new job that comes up. When there's a computer that does a job, it means people are free to do a different job. And maybe that job doesn't even exist today. So I'm not worried about computers in that sense. I'm not worried about computers taking my job and whatever. I'm not, I'm not at all worried about that because there's always going to be something for people to do. Even when you have computers to do absolutely everything, there's always going to be the one service that is old fashioned and has people doing it and people just don't want computers to do that particular job. And even if there are computers doing that job for the masses, there's always gonna be a market for the one that's done by people, the handmade one, right? That's what we have now, the handmade craft. Because everything could be made by machines, but now we have, um, you know, there's still those handmade craft shops and whatever where people just, just go there specifically because they want the one that's made by people. So computers and machines, not afraid, not worried. But then we get to AI and artificial intelligence. That's a little bit different. And we're getting closer to that with 5G apparently. Apparently 5G is so fast that it's like instantaneous. It's, it's pretty much like, as soon as you can think it, the computer or machine can do it. So it's like real time. There's just no lag between the instruction and the action, it's instant. And that is getting creepy. Now, AI, as far as I'm aware, correct me if I'm wrong, artificial intelligence, intelligence being the key word. This one, meaning that this machine, this computer, can learn things. And this is the part that I'm scared of. I'm scared that one day we will be like the robots and the machines in the movies where you can trick them once, but you can't trick them twice because the second time they already know what you did the first time. They're learning. I mean, we're getting there already. Like Google has that, what's it called? Um, I forgot, probably should have checked, like I said. Um, that one that played the, oh, AlphaGo. That's what it was, wasn't it? AlphaGo, was it AlphaGo? I think it was, Google Alpha. They played that Chinese chess game, Go, and it outsmarted like the best player in the world. So, you know, we're getting there. And machines that can learn how to do something, and you can see it learning, like the first few times it fails and then it learns by itself how to do something. That is what I'm scared of. 
I'm scared that one day machines will be smarter than people, like smarter than the people that made the machine because it learned how to do everything by itself, how to repair itself, how to update itself. Oh, that's what I'm scared of. And it's getting more and more likely that this is gonna happen. I don't know how they're gonna regulate that in the future. And probably just like the movies have said in the past, machines, robots, AI will be the end of humans. Because once there's a machine or a robot that can learn for itself, we're doomed. We are doomed. And once the technology exists, don't even think that we can control it. It's impossible. It's like trying to say that you can control the internet. You can try, you can put like a great firewall or whatever, but there are always going to be free elements of the internet that exist somewhere. And if, if someone can do it, then... I don't know. Going a little bit off topic, it's a bit weird. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how only certain countries have nuclear bombs because like the technology for that now must be freely available somewhere, right? It must be on the internet. I haven't looked, but it must be on there, like how to make one. Sure, I don't have the stuff to make one, but I'm sure like every country on earth could get the stuff to make one and just follow like some guide on the internet. I'm sure there's a guide of how to do it. It's just so weird. So maybe some information can be controlled and maybe that's what they should do with artificial intelligence. Restrict, the, it should be like the next nuclear bomb thing. It's like, that country is nuclear armed. Well, this country is artificial intelligence armed. So, you know, like that should, that's gonna be the next big thing that they have to control and like have to control which countries can have the technology and who's gonna be afraid of who because who has the most AI robots or whatever that are already strategically placed in different countries. I don't know. I feel like the next wave of terrorism or conflict or whatever that's going to kill everyone is AI. What do you think about that? AI. Are you worried? So like I say, just to recap, I'm not scared of robots and computers taking over our jobs, but I am kind of a little scared of AI killing everyone on Earth. Although I don't think that's going to happen in my lifetime, I'm sure I'm going to live to see when AI is like doing some damage. I feel like that's going to happen in my lifetime. Anyway, that's a nice thought for me to end on. Uh, just as I'm about to go to bed, it is 20 to 12 here in China. And yeah, I'm thinking about robots killing everyone on Earth. So happy days. Yeah. Anyway, tomorrow I've got nothing to do all day. Yeah. If you haven't already, click thumbs up share the video with your friends or to your Twitter or Facebook and leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. That's the main one. Subscribe. I'm still on 1,200 something subscribers, but only like 10 views. I need some real viewers. Come on, subscribe everyone. If you watched until the end, then you need to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are still watching right now, share with your friend. Come on. Just say, hey, what do you think about this guy's topic? Huh? Huh? Or just like, give it a thumbs up at least. Leave a comment. Let me know that you're there. There's only like three people watching it. And they're probably watching it like three times to give me nine views. Come on. Come on. I'm going to do better than that. Alright, I'm going to edit. Bye-bye.